spots him. And they spotted out on that high ground with the hawk they used early on to see who's up there. And it looks like they want to go for the contest. Beastmat has gone for one of the runes top, so has TB. And now it's down to what does King Al want to do? Arcane Orb level 1, get some hits in. Tag team towards the PA. Bounty runes grabbed by the Wind Ranger. And M MJZ doesn't have dive, he's got fiery spirits, don't forget. He doesn't have a way to escape, so when he gets chased down like this, reliant on that attack speed slow, and it cut through the tree with a fairy fire, but that final touch, the Crystal Nova of Maiden secures first blood for SG. Yep, she'll take it. She'll get to go to buy more clarities. Can you just send it out top, TP there, all good. It is three bounty runes though for the Radiant, right? Moos, Frank, and Moos again. Mm -hmm. Wind Ranger was able to loop around the back. But I think right now, all eyes on that mid lane. Kunker versus Earthshaker. Tidebringer versus Enchant Totem. The kings of last hitting and denying. <laughs> I think it should be a favorable matchup for the Shaker though. Once you get enough levels. But we'll see what happens, especially when you're level 6. I mean, you can get that um, Echo Slam off before the bolt comes out. Do a hell of a lot of damage to the Kunkka. That sure. being said, I, I don't I don't think Leo Style has played a lot of mid Shaker, so he might be a little rusty on the mechanics of this throw. Yeah, he's probably spammed it in some pub games. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm just thinking though, you know, Kunkka's Tidebringer got nerfed a bit back in the day. No longer well, able to do some of the... kind of getting owned right now. <laughs> He's under this tower. Earthshaker needs to get some of these last hits in. I guess after this, if Leo Star has a good performance, we might see Ice Frog, you know, take it away from Enchant Totem. No longer allows you to get bonus damage on your own creeps. You can't deny with it anymore. Yeah. Got his last hits now. Feeling a little bit better, but ADR also has like complete last hits. No XP lost, no deny so far. All right, all right, Gary, get away from the mid lane. Look at the okay. morals, buddy. I'm mesmerized. Bottom lane, Phoenix and Tusk doing the classic thing. And the pause five and pause four having a battle over the pull spots. Courier snipes being attempted. D wards happening. And then the PA is in a pretty much straight 1v1 with the OD from that point. Well, I had to get eight and one CS while the OD it does have a double wave coming. But the fiery spirits and this dagger spam starting to get a little bit annoying. He's got a magic stick. He's good. Enough tangles, just needs to get to that uh, ring of health, brush that meteor hammer, and then you're gonna see the OD pop off in this game. I'm much more interested in top lane. I wonder if, like, SG is doing all the right things to make this lane the best it possibly could be. It looks like they made it pretty good for the TB, top of the CS board, under his tower. Mm -hmm. Yep, because a very good lane for Terrorblade. But you know what the most important God, thing is? Crystal Maiden, is she got first blood and she hasn't died yet. So we've, we've seen a lot of Maiden wow. performances where they've fed in these lanes. KJ yeah. so far has done very well. You know, it's the South American players, they're very aggressive and uh, they don't really realize that Crystal Maiden is a fragile he hero. <laughs> so delicate, especially level one, level two. 600 HP, one armor. Radiant I'm just really beating on this Wind Ranger. Oh, she sure is. Oh, another mango fight. there. Could have been the Wind Ranger has Salve, Wand, and Fairy Fire, so Moose is just baiting the Crystal Maiden Ooh, to spend all her bomb. mana. Phoenix is level two now, so has the dive available. Tusk and OD. Not offering kill threat just yet as a oh, power shot top very barely scrapes past the maiden. Wind Ranger nearly had the snipe on her. Dive onto OD now. It's awkward down here. Everyone is just trading hits, not really putting anyone within range of taking them out of the lane. I think the PA was scouting for where that Tusk has gone because he roamed in towards mid. A haste is uh, found got, top by Leo's bottom She just ah, went to the, you know, the secret shop. Yep, yep, just a sidestep. Get pick up her ring of health, get that region going. OD has one too. Of course, of I don't, course. I don't really expect many kills to be happening in this bottom lane, to be honest. Oh, it doesn't but, look particularly exciting. Yeah. But maybe, you never know, with this 1-1-1 one, one, one build on Theo. Phoenix, when that dives on cooldown, very susceptible. But while, while dives up, Snowball. Tusk may have gone a step too far. Snowball's now. OD trying to give the clicks to PA. Astral's there to stop Tusk from dying to a stray dagger. 
They're just flirting with death, you know? Everyone's sitting about 200 HPs. <laughs> Putting me on the edge of my seat right now. The spooky stuff. Oh, whoa. Earthshaker, where are you Shaker? going? Level on 5 Earthshaker. I'm on He's the way. Coming in. He wants kills and he wants bounty oh, rooms. One hit, slap down. Fisher will finish off the tusk now as the Astral comes onto the Phoenix. But King Owl just being punched down by the hasted Earthshaker. And he'll get the double bottle refill off the bounty runes too. Ooh, Such a nice move. for the other rune. Yeah. I mean, Kuka got a lot of XP, but Urshaker got the kills and the gold for his team, so... And one of the great parts about that is, you know, MNZ obviously happy that he comes to bot lane to get the kills, but now she's got a solid 30 seconds, 45 seconds, where Ring of Health can take her back to full HP, not needing to... No salve, near. don't have to waste any money on it. Yep, looks like he's planning to get treads first he might just end up rushing the battle fury as we've seen some of the other pas do lately yeah kind of like it the build it, it also makes it so that you don't like throw the game by constantly taking unfavorable fights because when you, you have know power treads, you're like oh i'm so strong let's go yeah <laughs> a false sense of security from one little item well tusk has to come back down here now od is going to struggle in a 1v2 so they need to keep this lane set up as is well, uh, Earthshaker, he's now invis. Two active runes in a row, gets the power flowing through his bottle, roams up to top with a TP scroll. He is level six, and he was looking for that creep wave coming in for anybody <laughs> lurking on it. A sneaky little echo slam could have come, but instead, I'll just be a snipe on the Crystal Maiden. KJ there, Custabil, he has walked into this. Fisher oh, from Leo, in. blocked. What's oh, the follow through? It's another echo. enchant with an echo slam coming. Leo Styles is burning his time in case he needs to. <laughs> he won't hold it. He'll throw it on the TV and get a double kill. And this allows Windranger to get in mid to leech some experience. Yeah, he's four and zero. Shake making some nice rotations i mean also get this uh mid wave pushed off because the catapult is destroying their tier one tower adr is getting enormous though during all that time uh, but shaker is still a little bit ahead of him in gold not excellent that net worth yeah 3.3k and the tower deny it is still an early you know seven minute tower there in that mid lane huge yeah what we need to see now is ADR just rotate bottom and start pressuring up this PA so they can take the bottom tower as well with the OD. He's doing exactly that. Actually TPing in, yep. Astral there we has go. the X mark, but doesn't get it off in time. PA has already Phantom Strike. That means though she's trapped in the shards. And now you've got the X mark torrent combo. Bring her back into it. And sent down to David Jones' locker Phoenix. and the dive from Phoenix will get him away from that trio down bottom. Oh, the perfect move from Adriana there. Eight minute runes coming. This is going to be pretty big for either the Shaker or the Kunkka. Who's going to get it? And Frank Torrent. dies up top. Torrent. Torrent's there. Hastis top lane. Crystal Maiden and TB getting away from the Wind Ranger, but it looks like Moose giving chase gets the final touch. And Maiden now, without anything left, is going to get jumped by the PA. Maiden's down while the Earthshaker, he did slip away from the Tusk and Kunkka, but he didn't get the bottle refill with that haste rune. Ooh. Who got the kill on the TV? The Wind Ranger did. Okay, yeah. so the PA gets the kill onto the CM. Now going to be top, realizing that there's probably going to be a lot of uh, threat on the bottom side now that the mid tower has fallen. Decides to TP top instead. TB probably going to TP mid. Ooh, that, the that's towers, not where I expect the TB to go. The tower's already dead, mate. It's going to go farm their jungle side. I thought he was going to go bottom. Yeah, it felt like it. And the rest of them smoking up towards top. Phoenix Dyer's bot is being top. chased by an OD. Who dives away from King out. So Terrorblade farming on that radiant side of the map while the smoke does arrive onto the Wind Ranger. And they've got the X Mark Torrent, and there's no way you're missing that one with the Snowball Shards tag team. Wind Ranger should be dead to right in the trees. And a hasted Kunker moves in towards the Beastmaster now. The Frostbite boat combo with a Snowball all holds him in place. Half HP Frank oh, gets the Necro units off, and in comes the Earthshaker now with an enchant on the Tusk. They'll torrent him back. The PA, though, gets on top of the other core's head. And the Tusk is about to die to the Sunray. The burn gets him before the dagger does. But the Earthshaker still going for more. Leo Stahl gets the Maiden deeper. And SG 
They're still being chased. A good torrent. Look at that. He waits and buys his time. Leo style, a perfect placement. Still gonna get X marked away, but the dive falls from the Phoenix with a super oh, now. The and they get the jump with a PA, but he did miss the echo slam. You're right. So Kunka, he'll survive. And now the Meteor Hammer, OD Astral, onto the PA, lands perfectly. MNZ torrented now, and the TPs come again. Tusk is there, but the Phantom Strike back away from Tusk. Snowball with a shot forward, and the PA is caught. Earthshaker couldn't save them even without Fisher, and Frank's Beastmaster was busy pushing the tier one tower. <laughs> that was pretty hilarious. He's like, oh, the creep wave is coming, I'm gonna echo. Oh shit, I got pulled up. And then his echo just absolutely failed. And nearly had it. Yeah, I mean, maybe if that landed on the Kunkka, they could have killed him. That's why they went in with the egg play too, because they thought the echo was gonna land and get that uh, stun from the aftershock. But PA gonna be punished for it. I mean, SG is looking pretty good so far. The TB has had all that time to farm. You will oh, get caught he's here get though. Jumped, though. And Costa Biel doesn't right. have enough mana for Sunder. I literally just said the TB was free farming and then he just dies like that. Sad. He secured the tower. That was his main he did. But I don't think it's worth it. You gave a kill to the PA. She got a bunch of XP. So did the Wind Ranger. Wind Ranger is also level eight now. And uh, this is all, all the time you could be spending farming. He's one in three on the Terrorblade. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, that death to the Earthshake, his rotation top, really spooked him because he immediately left the lane, went mid, farmed jungle, now bottom lane. He will have a big wave there for himself to claim up. Uh, top lane, King out. Being saved by the boat for now, but that sunray burning and the Necro unit chasing forward. He'll astral up the Phoenix mid dive, and with the meteor hammer landing, MGZ is the one that's going to get nice. sliced by 4DR. Earthshaker, he's got the enchant and the shackle shot on Theo, and it looks like they'll bring the tusk down slowly but surely after the snowball and the punch. It will take Moose's touch to take him down, and King Ow. Oh, he uh, obviously died a little bit earlier on. He died to the fire spirit when the Phoenix came out since the uh, meteor hammer was not instant stun i was able to get that last fire spirit off this is so much so much space for both carries i'm just looking at them very very calmly hitting creeps battle fury now about a thousand gold away for mnz and Terra Blade, the Sand and Yasha we've come to know and love on this Terra Blade. Not too far away either, about a grand for him too. Dyer's top tower is up I think they're both farming at pretty much the same rate. Yeah, both sitting around 400 GPM. So we'll have a, a period there though, like PA with Battle Fury. Does she want to fight with that or is it that item you want to try and you know leapfrog to your deso or your next big one mm. she should always be the last one to join the team fight she should not be the one initiating any fights just if there's a fight near her she'll go there throw a dagger or two if she finds a short kill she'll just jump in secure it other than that you're just going to be focused on farming to your next item or maybe even do roshan you have a beastmaster on your team with necro 3 yeah. relatively soon just don't get involved in fights like this. In the mid lane with a supernova hey, and the whoa. shackle shot. Moves lines it up. Sands the clips nice. but look at them all die. SG pummeled into the ground and now the Kunker. He's got the X mark on the Franks. The boat is coming. But that Sunray with a jump from the Earthshaker finds him the Achant Totem and the Wind Ranger just goes to work. Wild it on the Kunker. Adriano, down you go. One more final hit from the Earthshaker will give Leo Star a triple kill. But he does lose his streak. The monster Atex kill streak down. And it goes into the hands. 610 gold for the Terrorblade. He just got a lot of gold there on TV. I mean, I want to say that was nice from Thunder Predator, but going for that Kunkka kill under a tower ended up, ended up costing the Beastmaster and the Shaker. Plus, they didn't get the mid tower. So, oh, yeah, maybe a little too one. ambitious there to go for more than those three kills after you using all of your spells already. Because that Kunkka is hella tanky. Yeah, because it goes from a, a one fight to, you'd, you'd argue, a draw with Terrorblade getting all the money, defending the tier one, and then yes, maybe you, you think I, about maybe even a I loss. I think that was like a draw in the end, because look at PA, she's only level 10 and a half. Kosovo is about to hit level 13. Oh, jeez, yeah. Yep. He, he became a big boy after that last engagement. Cracks level 13. And off he goes down to bottom. Lots of lines being drawn by Thunder Predator up in that top jungle. 
Yeah, it looks like Crystal Maiden's also telling King Ao to get the hell out of the jungle and come bottom. <laughs> Group up with the rest of the Guys, squad. Stop Near that playing TV. on the top side. Radiant stop. Are we are dire team. Play bottom lane. On, honest, on, honestly, that is like one of my catchphrases in pubs. Dyer's like when I'm raging, it's like, guys, attack. literally, we are radiant. Stop playing bottom lane. Go top. <laughs> Farm top, please, I beg of you. Because I've just, you know, I've got a troll warlord who's 0 6, just TPing back to bottom lane eight minutes in, just dying again. Yeah. No, no worries. <laughs> Happens in every bracket, sir. It's easy to get locked into the I'm safe lane, I'm radiant, bottom lane is my safe lane. That's where I belong. Crystal Maiden, struggling to deal with Necro units and the power shot. Shuts her down. <laughs> oh, boars. I hate boars, man. Level four boars. Four player. Not a it's fan. So annoying. Yeah, boars and necrobooks chasing you down. And you just get killed off by like a random Rubik fade bolt or a power shot or. <laughs> See, that's why Some heroes, you know, like. Skill like that. Chen and Enchantress. That's why they exist. To deal with the Beastmaster. Yeah. I mean, those are hard counters to Beastmaster in the laney stage, especially. Right. If the Beastmaster doesn't have a good laney stage, he just doesn't get items, right? So. Yeah, especially because you kind of commit for the Call of the Wild and the Inner Beast build. So if you fail, you can't catch up. As a supernova and an illusion rune, a bit of a weird initiation here from SG onto this Earthshaker. Astral and Meteor Hammer do land, but Shackle the, the Kunkka towards the back. So Santi's Eclipse into the Echo Slam with the Terror Blade. The big boy with the Metamorphosis is here, and he is really ready to give a double kill to Theo. Phoenix X'd up as well. The Dark oh, on the high ground gives them the vision they need. Terrorblade, super happy, joins two fights, and off the back of them, he's now level 14, he's got Sand and Yasha well on his way to Skadi, and the PA hasn't oh. really got involved yet. <laughs> that get back from CM, I thought it was a GG call or something. <laughs> Spooked me for a second. I'm like, G I know Thunder Predator, you guys made some mistakes, you know, but it, it, it's not that bad. I'm sure you can make a comeback. TB is yeah, shaker. Dropped the uh, Echo Slam that last fight too, so he's not gonna have it for another two minutes. Mm. PA is still making her way towards the Deso, and the worst part about that fight is Beastmaster's uh, Necro Book was on cooldown, wasn't really there, so taking the engagement without the Beastmaster is always gonna be a huge mistake. Oh, Leo Styles Earthshaker, now behind the Kunker in that worth, buying himself a Yule Scepter, so he's gonna go blink Yules. They're very Roshan. I sure do. This is something you mentioned, right? Just popping into Roche with Beastmaster and the PA. Your PA is a little bit late, though. Yeah, she's late, and she doesn't have a Deso either. She's so close to it. It looks like she's just going to contest this with Torrent. They catch the PA with That's the Torrent. enough. Yeah. Oh, Necrobooks are out, too. This would be a bad time for Thunder Predator to fight without Necrobooks being up. It looks like Frank's just going to shove that top wave as much as he can, create a bit of pressure in that part of the map. Kunker, so good at shoving that mid wave though with X Mark, very safely. Not gonna get caught out by anything. I guess we'll that's see. gonna be uh, cool. two things that are good about the Yules then. I was thinking of the Yules on Earthshaker as merely like a defensive tool, you know, just save mm -hmm. himself. But I guess you can also mess with the Kunker's X Mark when he does go for plays like this. Oh, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's for yourself, right? Like, yeah, in, 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 in every way, it's just so good, the Yules in this kind of game but you are kind of like a support now <laughs> with a yules build on the shaker because typically i think you would like to see a bkb if ever a mid shaker wants to buy a defensive item a war on tusk but the astral saves there and frank who's x mark back into the boat with a freezing field he's punched and destroyed and the is claimed by mnz radiant kills roshan and get the aegis while they've yules up this kunker i don't think they want to fight they're still going to jump up on him, but a disarm from the Halberd means MNZ can't push damage forward. And the Windranger escapes barely from the torrent. That Tusk buyback, putting a bit of fear in them as Frank is, of course, down for another 15 seconds. But a victory there for Thunder Predator getting the Roshan. They also got the uh, Blink Dagger now on the OD. That's what they've been lacking, the initiation. X Mark is a nice spell, but you can't just X every single hero, right? Hey, you definitely can't. What's next is Aghanim Scepter becomes AoE X. We've got, we've got AoE Shadow Word on Warlock, AoE Surge, AoE Press the Attack. It's time for AoE X marks the spot. 
Have you played much with Kunkka's Aghanim Shard? The tidal no, wave? I have not played Kunkka at all. Okay. But it's a pretty cool spell though, to be honest, the uh, tidal wave. It's one of it my favorite. Let's clear creeps. Yeah, it's really Dyer's fun. Top tower, I mean, you know, <laughs> you know my dark strength. side, right? The Radiance builds. Kunkka's one of my favorite uh -huh. new heroes to do it on. Aghanim's <laughs> Shard and Scepter. So, oh, the X marked. Oh, the Yule's play. He's still going to drag himself back. He's still fine. Yule's was a little bit too early there. Looks like they've got the OD Banish. Up onto the little Wind Ranger. Trapped in the Shards and the Fisher. But neither team wants to fully commit for that awkward fight around the river. But they finally get the tier 1 tower middle. <laughs> On uh, Frank. At long last it dies. They've been they've been waiting for that tower to die forever. And PA finally overtaking the TB. Dyer's top tower is yeah, it's gonna feel so good now as MNZ. Holding that Aegis, working towards BKB, because you've got a, a massive window now. Another three minutes of Aegis, and you'll have that magic immunity going into the next fight. Yeah. I do think they do want to fight on the top side though and not go bottom like this. Wind Ranger, she has a blink. She can just blink out. She just wants to slow this down, I guess. I prefer if uh, Thunder Predator were applying their own pressure on the tier 2 tower they, top with their Beastmaster. They want to blink echo this. Earthshake is TPing. Leo style preps the enchant. Power shot through the trees. They spot King out. He self astrals. Crystal Maiden is coming and they blink the OD out there, leading to this torrent initiation on Leo style. Self Yules doesn't have the blink to escape, so the boat's gonna land perfectly square on his head, but he's speedy, he's got a haste. The Earthshaker runs away and that snowball dragged into the tier one. The Meteor Hammer landing on the Wind Ranger, but the blink there go! Leo style! Beautiful! Absolutely gorgeous reinitiation! You forget for one second about that Earthshaker, and he comes and dunks you down! Tusk salving, but he's gone! A double for Leo! And Frank is gonna chase out this Tusk as well! Crystal Maiden, where are you? Save your friends, because they're all falling apart! Ooh, TP attempt? Not gonna work! Leo's here with a triple kill! My goodness, he, that was the most perfect echo because not only did he get the TV, but he got the OD with the uh, Aftershock as well. So there was no more save available on that TV to come out and just pop the Sunder and turn the fight around. That's the power of that. That Yule set up to, he disengages for a couple yep. of seconds. Uh, the haste definitely helped out. Because he was able to like huge, it was drag, huge. drag the Tusk far west and then run east again, get the Blink Echo. And Thunder Predator straight back into it. 6k net worth lead. Starting to accelerate through that graph. 21 to 13. And I, I, I don't know about you, but I started to feel like this game was slipping little by little towards SG. Mm -hmm. I mean, after that last fight, losing pretty much all your cores, Thunder Predator must feel real good. And they got the BKB plus a Desolator in their bottle now. Oh. DD, that PA, if she jumps anyone, they are screwed. That's yeah. why Dyer's SG, they are bunkering top. down, get in the base. The Shaker doesn't even need a haste anymore, just look at his items. Oh yeah, 550 move speed off the Yules and Travels. And the Quicksilver Amulet. Oh yeah, good point. I, I never, whenever I get that item drop, I just put it straight in stash. I don't, I, I don't know, I don't Dyer's feel it. You know, you get that it's feeling about good item. Yeah. Like, yeah. KJ, you step outside that base for even a second. And PA is going to punish you. Astral Torrent not working out. Let's shake things up. SG, you're going to have to try and split push these waves with TB illusions at this point. Wait for that maiden to respawn. Still in a decent place to hold their high ground, though. The TB is massive still. Can't let them escape your mind. They do get a little space to move out up into that top jungle. But Leo style, he doesn't want that to be happening. He has Blink Echo again. And PA is on that TV. Shackle shot Kunker. Andriano's there. There's a snowball coming. Roar up. And Andriano is under his own tier one, being burnt by the supernova. He throws the boat last second, but they made the jump in onto Costa Bila. Terra Blade's gone. DDP BKB PA. In the blink of an eye, SG just lose three heroes. Thunder Predator are diving tier threes. Crystal Maiden has a ghost scepter, but in comes the damage from this Earthshaker now. 
doesn't even have the academic shard. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Double damage PA. Easy tier two for you. Top lane should be cleared up as well. And an ideal situation for Thunder Predator now to take this series two to nothing the way they're standing. Mm -hmm. I mean, SG are running out of moves to make. This Terrorblade is just way too far behind now. He doesn't have a BKB, doesn't have any progression towards the MKB. I, I, I'm not a huge fan of the Scotty buy from the Terrorblade. I think he need either BKB or like a uh, mkb right away so he has the threat onto the pa and the wind ranger we saw in the previous fight as well where the wind ranger just ran in with the wind run and the tb's trying to hit her what if that scotty was an mkb just two shot or three shot her it was right now he can't deal with the pa and he can't deal with the earth shaker both of them covering each other very nicely in terms of you know magic damage physical damage disables and they've got everything between them that, that came up the other day as well. What was the other hero pairing we were talking about, if you remember? There were two cores, a mid laner and a safe laner. One was like all physical, one was all magical, and they kind of cover themselves very nicely. Was it like Slardar and something? I can't remember. I'll have to go back and look at yeah. the games. <laughs> P8 blurred up, hiding away and throwing daggers. Crystal, oh, Crystal Maiden. Yeah, I've spotted you. And so is the Earthshaker. Dead for 30. So now a 4v5, the Shackle shot. Oh, it's a tasty one. Terrorblade got flashed up behind them. Still very tentative going high ground though. This is the disciplined Thunder Predator that we love to see. Take the entirety of the map, close it out. And let that net just wrap around your opponents. Not only are they playing patiently, but if SG do make a single misstep, Thunder Predator are just so ready to jump that. Oh man. Yeah, they just, oh, they get it. Frank, torrented, boated, gets the roar off on the Terra Blade, and a very wide Shackle Shot comes out. A 1% chance on that Dota Plus prediction for the Dyer to win. This team fight blowing up the task. m and arrives and says, good night to you. Chainstones galore on the TB. Take him out as well. Gone for a minute with buyback available, but it feels like the game is just coming to a close. SG, yep. they've run out of gas. They're the not victory. even buying back on anybody. They're just letting everyone die. Give them the mid lane of barracks, because that's what they've come to claim. An MNZ triple kill. Phantom Assassin looking hot right now with that basher ready. And where's, where's Wind Ranger going? Moose. Mo Moose? What are you up to? That is the enemy fountain. You can't heal up in there, buddy. I think he's asking them to call the GG. He doesn't want to stay in the game anymore, you know? I'm trying to tilt them. Oh, he knows. I've got them under their boots. Tier 3 bottom You're gone. For some kind of a comeback here on the side of SG for sure. They, they don't want to lose this 2-0. They absolutely don't. Frank is TP bottom outpost. They will leave that bottom melee barracks alive. As that TB and Kunkka do come back up. Oh, Orb of Destruction drops for the PA now. Okay. Big item. I mean, to be honest, I kind of like Paladin Sword a little bit better for the PA since she doesn't have any life steal anyway. <laughs> It's actually like, you know, you see over destruction, you're like, wow, what an amazing item, which it is. But then a lot of the tier three items are just so good. Yeah, they really are spectacular. Like elven tunic, cloak of flames. Yeah. I feel, uh, spider legs, you know? I, I feel like Enchanted yeah, Quiver is one of the few items where I'm like, that's very situational, what hero I'm playing. Everything else is like, give me, give me, give me. Give me it all. Give me, give me, give me. Sound like Radiant every greedy Dota 2 player <laughs> I've ever played with, Gary. Give me, no. give me, give me, give me, give me, uh, give me everything. The catch on Kunku. Leo Styles playing with him. Yeah. Adriano, what's your escape plan? Is it into the grave? Because it looks like it's going to be. No buyback on him either. PA is deep in there. Oh my god. they just not afraid. Go Scepter Maiden. Trying to scrape away with their life, and they've got Lotus Orb on the PA now, too. If anybody steps forward, they are getting blinked on and abyssal bladed. And there's the Yule Scepter set up on Terra Blade. No BKB on him, so the chain stuns come thick and fast. Save out from the OD for now, but a supernova and a roar on the tusk means there's no additional layers of save. So the Terra Blade, if they keep him chain stunned, there's no chance of a sunder, and GG is called. SG give up as they are just being shredded by their tier fours. Thunder 
Predator. A 2-0 victory and a convincing one at that. Very convincing, to be honest. I think SG, they had all the key ingredients to have a really good game,